So, normally when you think of nudes in a museum, your mind would naturally wander to statues or maybe sculptures. Mmm, that might change. A museum in Dorchester is literally bringing that idea to life, recently opening its doors to visitors who want to wander through its galleries after hours, completely naked. Why? Well, that's what our reporter Steve Harris has been finding out. I'd heard that a group of history buffs were going to be taking over Dorset Museum for the night. Turns out I'd misheard. They're a group of history in the buffs. Very unique, very good, and yes, very excited. Never been to this museum before, and it's fabulous what I've seen it so far. The night's been organised by British Naturism, and the ticket price includes a glass of wine, changing facilities, and a locker for the participants' clothes. Wonderful Tony, 65 tickets I've sold, which is more than I anticipated. It's, it's not rude, you know, it, we're just nude, that's all, that's all, yeah. I think for women, it's like a body-conscious body thing, um, and I've learned to accept my body for what it is now, and a lot of women can't do that, but, mm. it, it, you know, you give it a go, and if you don't like it, put your clothes back on again. Dorset Museum is doing it for the exposure. The venue had a multi-million pound revamp over COVID and features exhibits from the collections of paleontologist Mary Anning, sculptor Elizabeth Frink and novelist Thomas Hardy. But earlier this year, it warned that its visitor numbers were down and its costs were up. I think for us, it's fantastic because it enables us to showcase the many ways in which you can enjoy a museum and the fact that we're here for everybody. Uh, and it's also been really successful for them in terms of the number of people that have engaged and that are coming. Uh, and it's a new experience for both of us, for museums and for the British Nature Society. It gives you a massive confidence to see normal people naked. Um, because when you see naked people, it is generally Instagram, porn, etc., and you see the stereotypical image that the press wants you to see. They're saying you should look like this. And Otherwise you're not you. worth anything. Yeah. And, you know, and I think that's wrong because it does instill people that, you know, why do I look like that? For now, this evening is a one-off, and after tonight, the museum will be closed until further notice. But I'm not going to miss out on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. What's that old saying? When in Rome... Good. That's all good. Absolutely. That, Steve uh, Harris, that, that was. Does that appeal to you? No, I just think it's great. People feeling happy, doing their thing. Why not? The, the, what's that thing called where you push yourself against the screen and it, it, it sort of moulds your body? What's that called? I don't know. It used to be like a pin thing, didn't it? Mm. Because you put your hand in it and that's just a, a big body size yeah. one. 